Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL. Oh, I forgot to update the score, which you know what that means. It's going to be a black screen. I should take bets beforehand and be like, okay, do you think it's going to be a black screen on the net? Whatever. Little mini game you guys can play at home as to whether there'll be a black screen on this commentary or not. 12 o'clock location, we have white starting as the white Protoss, appropriately so. Bottom left corner, we got bug starting as the blue Protoss. This is on Apocalypse. And giving the, it seems like bugs, I'm going to say antics. Bugs antics are creating a lot of trouble from white. And Bug with the antics, I've seen a lot of players go really, really deep doing similar things in Hasu League in particular uh, with what Bug is doing. So I would not be shocked to see Bug make the quarterfinal, or I should say the semifinal, round of four, or the finals at this stage. We'll see if he can breach. There are players like Fisheye that are very, very experienced, those German Protoss, that might be able to deal with it. I'm trying to think of other guys. Do Life might be able to. He's still out there. Might create some problems for Bug. But Bug looking pretty good thus far. Still has to overcome White here. But right now, White having a lot of trouble. Specifically, not defending the Sidestorm drops. Having a great difficulty finding the sneak expansions out for Bug. Bug just seems to be playing Southpaw style. Which is throwing White off quite a bit. Don't want to count him out yet, though. Gateway opener on both sides on 10. So no... Uh, gateway on 9 for the slightly more rapid zealot play. We are going to see a 2 gateway opener here from Bug. This is a rampless map. Double gateway out for white as well. So this is going to come down to micromanagement now. And having that early scout will be absolutely huge. Whether one player gets a shield battery down or not can sometimes be the difference. And then shield battery, it's, it's kind of one of those challenging things where it's like, do you drop a shield battery? Do you not? Where do the zealots go? How do you split your zealots? It's really a, a task of multitasking. And I'll be also interested to see with the initial few zealots, a little bit of a scouting advantage right there from white already, dropping the pylon to help power that. So it wasn't just a, si a single pylon. Take down. We have a pylon that will power one of these, but I don't think it will reach and power there, which would give white an advantage if he gets aggressive. Worker making his way across. I'll also be interested to see if white is just going to go for an initial couple zealots and then try to drop an assimilator and pull out of it. Right now, drawing that worker back. So now, Bug sees that it's two gate versus two gate. It kind of feels like it's one of those standoffs where it's like, okay, what happens now? Second pylon drop from Bug, just in case. Same deal. And we do see an assimilator drop. So white has pulled out. And so he does not have the information and he's dropping this assimilator. So the worker gets killed, but he dropped that assimilator for bug to see. Now, does he go up to three gateway? Or is he just going to go for... So sending out a worker now the with that bug, yeah, moving out as he should. But it looks like he's going to go for three zealot aggression and then try to go for a nexus behind it. Whether this worker makes its way past these zealots is enormous, and it looks like it is in fact going to be able to slip across. Because this pylon at the forward location, first of all, buys a bit of time. Four zealots out on the front, so this is still very microable for Bug into an advantageous situation. He's building a couple additional, so now that pylon drops, so White sees the intention, is going to see the lack of it, the assimilator just now getting dropped from Bug. Sees the forge behind this, so Bug doing Bug things with the forge. And White moving forward into the Zealot line. Oops. Losing control of my mouse there for a half second. Micro, very, very important. And unfortunately for Bug, he's just taking a lot of free damage on these Zealots thus far, which should allow White to just play aggressive here. And he does have a Cybernetic score building behind this. Two more Zealots marching out in the field. A little bit of minerals stolen out on the map. So... Was there any base damage is the next question. So some shield damage. So if white presses the issue, might end up with an advantage overall. He might end up blocking out his own zealots accidentally here on this ramp. Because this, unless he really manages this well, yeah, this is a better concavity for white. Because you see it's four on one right there. So one zealot immediately down. However, well, as far as a follow-up, decent. Two cannons now morphed. White going to back out. We do have that Nexus about halfway finished. Nexus just starting for white. But he's going to have... Uh, unfortunately, with these Dragoons, he'll have open field ground advantage for a bit. So this is... But these cannon... Uh, he's not going to have enough Dragoons, though, really, to, to puncture the natural expansion. 
which is one of those things where I wonder, okay, you don't, you, so you end up with map control, but can you translate that map control into an advantage as far as a follow-up? Cybernetic score dropping in between immediate transition here from Bug. So Bug going to end up, so he's down on supply, but is making up for it with that photon cannon. And he will be able to go ahead and grab that natural expansion, immediately grabbing that second assimilator. Uh, presumably to, again, transition into the Templar tech and play the game from there. Third gateway dropped robotics facility as well. One way of getting around this is going for drops. He's, uh, Bug going ahead and dropping some violence at the corner to maybe absorb drops as they're coming. Could just be for the observatory and make sure the, he has vision as well, but there is a wide area where you can kind of elevate the Dragoons across against an unaware opponent. We have several results making their way forward. For Bug, this is very adventurous from Bug. He knows he's down on the overall worker count. He, it, with some decent micro, White could get some free Zealot kills. Is what this could turn into. I think he mostly wants just to confirm that the natural expansion is getting built. But yeah, White should absolutely chase this down. Especially if you can get the Dragoons in open field. You, sh you can get some free kills. Bug trying to swi uh, swip or switch around. But he's not going to have that advantage with the Zealots out in front. We do have a third, third and fourth gateway as well as a Citadel of a Dune behind this, just versus the three gateways behind. So that is a one gateway advantage to try to close that supply gap. But right now, yeah, White again, he's got ground control, he's got map control. Third, gate, uh, third cannon dropping just to provide a little bit of defense. But we'll see if White, what some Protoss will do in this situation is, is they'll just play like a Zerg. They'll say, okay, you're dropping photon cannons. We'll just let you have those static defenses. I'm going to go for a contain, effectively. Oop, need to not lose your zealots for free, though. Just go for, like, a pseudo-contain. Never mind, he's going for it. We'll see if this is enough. Good zealots surround to the north. White punching through. The zealots taken care of. Two photon and the probe pulling as well. And one dragoon not engaging. That's going to hurt. He needed that Dragoon to engage. Photon Cannon getting focus fired. Workers off the line. The Zelt's working on that lower Photon Cannon. And White actually having enough to breach. He's going to get some worker kills. Might be able to get this nat natural expansion. Nexus. Look at that. Good play from White. I didn't know that he had enough. We have some Dark Templar being built though. And a Reserver out in the field. I don't think this is going to be in time to save this Nexus. It will be a little bit of map control after the fact, but yeah, just retreat now, White. Get out of there! You recognize the Dark Templar? I think he recognizes the Dark Templar. He's going to go ahead and evacuate, but does he get the pylon? Gets the pylon on exit. So now it is White's game to lose. So I have to retract everything I said earlier. Fifth gateway being placed. He can go up to six gateways just fine. Really good healthy worker count this time. Robotics facility getting dropped, maybe for a DT drop. That would kind of be Bugs 1 out here. This, Whenever you see the, the Dragoon stop, you want to turn around with that Dark Templar. We have three Dark Templar, though, wrapping their way around to the north. We have a Forge and a uh, Pylon. Do we have a second Observer? No, never mind. Bug just kind of GG right there. So, Bug going to move on to the final match. White will advance to the winner's match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.